Now, not every relation should be equal to the product of A and B. A and B consist of all the possible combinations, all the possible relations. R uh, needs only to be a subset of that. And a subset would be, for instance, if I have here uh, A and I have B uh, with elements 1, 2, 3 and 5 and 6, and I only have the relation between 2 and 6 and 3 and 6. Whereas the pairs are uh, 2, 6 and 3, 6. This, of course, is a subset of A times B. The domain are the, is the set of the two first elements, which is a subset of A. And uh, the range is only one element of B, because that's the only element that is used. And we can say that therefore x, being an element of A, has a relationship to y, being an element of B, or you can write it like this. Now, to finally uh, wrap it up, I would like to look at three different kind of relations. And the first one is the reflective relation. What is a reflective relation? A reflexive relation it is if I have an element of a set s then the relation from a to itself needs to be part of this relation so for instance if s would be the elements 1 2 and 3 then the set of ordered pairs needs to be at least 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 if one of them is missing the relationship it, or the relation is not reflexive other elements can be added that's okay symmetric relation is obvious if uh, a and b are elements of s and a has a relationship with b then the reverse is true as well for instance if s has the elements 1 2 3 4 then uh, 1 2 is a for instance, a relation and as a consequence 2, 1 as well. 2, 4 is a relation and 4, 2 as well. Third one is the transitive uh, relation. And uh, let me uh, clarify this with uh, my really large knowledge of all movies. I know a few actors, for instance, Cruz, Nicole. Uh, what's his name, Cruz and Nicole Kidman and uh, girl Lopez and for instance suppose that Kidman played in a movie with uh, Cruz Cruz played in another movie with Lopez then there needs to be another movie where Kidman played with Lopez or in general if A has a relationship with B like for instance Kidman and Cruz B has a relationship with C, Cruz with Lopez, then as a consequence A has to be also having a relation with, with uh, C, in this case Kidman with Lopez. Now if we turn to page 123 we have a few exercises to look at.